thank you for joining us once again here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium, where we are bringing the aquarium to you while you're not able to be here at the aquarium. Today, we're going to be doing an interesting experiment that looks at dissolving. Now, dissolving is what happens when you pour something into something else and the thing disappears. One famous example is salt and water. For this experiment, we're going to need a couple of things. We'll need water, salt, and something else, which we will get to. In our two containers here, it might look like they both have water, but one of them is a little different. It is rubbing alcohol. If we would dump salt in water and stir it around, we know that disappears, but what happens if we do the same thing to rubbing alcohol? Take a minute to ask your friends and those around you that question. You can pause if you need to to discuss. All right, any ideas of what you guys think will happen? Well, let's experiment now and find out. So we will take both of them and dump them in and stir. Now, when stuff dissolves, what's happening is the water is pulling it apart. Water is extremely sticky. It loves to grab onto and hold things, including things that are dumped into it. There we go. You can see, taking a look now, just a little bit of stirring, and the salt is gone from the water, but in the rubbing alcohol, it is still there. Water, as I was saying, is super sticky. It grabs onto things and holds them, so much so that it will start to pull the salt molecules apart from each other into a solution. The rubbing alcohol, though, is not sticky in the same way. It is not going to pull apart and take apart those molecules, dissolving them. Water is extremely good at dissolving and holding things. It's oftentimes called the universal solvent because so many things can dissolve into it. Because so much dissolves into water and gets held in it, we have to be very careful about what we put into our water supplies. We want to be sure that we're not putting extra salts and minerals into the water because it will hold on to those and can do a lot to change how an ecosystem is going. By taking time and disposing of our waste properly, and even more importantly, trying to use less, we're able to do a lot to help out the water, not in our, only in our local areas, but also the ocean. Thank you very much for joining us today. We hope that you enjoyed this and you can try this experiment at home. And we will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m.